Japan Innovation Network, once again from Neo Extric. It was created in the Ministry of Economy and Trade Industry. Kei Ando is director of JIN and he cheers Medi, so I conclude that he is a minister. I'm not making him up, it's written in black and white. Chairman of Chairman, Jasmine Magical. Ando has so much connections. <laughs> If you're gonna bet on a you know the project for Jasmine, all the fun, etc., just bet on Ando. <laughs> just bet on Kuditake Ando, man. He got he got so he like okay. There's I said it on my channel before. There's a saying in you know the entertainment industry. I'm sure you guys heard it. It's not about what you know, it's who you know, man. And Ando is out here. <laughs> Japan's is the world largest economy as well as a large market. The Japanese economy also enjoys a very large internal market driven by considerable internal consumption, the cutting edge infrastructure 22. Technolo uh, technological cutting edge is one of the most strengths of the country, which enjoys ICT in different sectors. They are making an important contribution to the country's constant economic growth. Also, thanks to economic investment incentives, policies japan can be an area of important future investments regarding the energy sector and environmental conversation there are uh there are therefore opportunities for investment in markets such as renewable energy biotech architecture pharmaceuticals uh chemical products etc the japan innovation network is an accelerator for large medium-sized enterprises aimed at simulating uh these companies JIN in global ecosystem that connects networks of Japanese businesses and communities, global innovation to create new value for both parties. It also seeks to open its door to those who want to collaborate with Japanese companies and create new collaborations and innovations, innovative solutions in 2023. And right here, okay, just to wrap it all up in a nice bow, JIN was established in 2013 by the Ministry of the Economy, Trade and Industry. Uh, to implement a systematic approach and manage creativity and productivity on a transversal and permanent level, the Medi Committee is chaired by Kunitake Ando, former president of Sony and executive director of JIN. The JIN network is vast corporate network of 22 companies and 25 partners. It is a innovate, innovation management uh innovation and also a problem management as well as personal approach and therefore any great organization can create innovation with the right organizational approach and system uh systemic right innovation projects and realize thanks to innovative management think thinking in order to create new practices and successes the japan innovation network is a learning model aimed at innovation and the development of entrepreneurial ideas which enhances the potential and individual of the individual and the company in which he or she operates it is therefore an innovative and creative methodology but also very systematic and organized to develop innovation through an integrated mix of training innovation organized management and framework of the re uh, reference production system and right here the medi committee is chaired by kuni take ando so we have the jazz the jazz m tie-in the jin japanese innovation network and a, oh my gosh man if you're gonna bet on jazz be like i said man bet on ando san <laughs> right bet on kuni take ando Shout out to Neo Extrix for always diving down the rabbit hole. I talked about Jazz M before from an X I saw. And Neo Extrix, you know, tight connected all the dots. So shout out to him for that. Saying 1K, people feel the notice on the weekly that Jasmine's holding strong. The entire market is down, it seems. Additionally, the effect of the total supply amount being nearly achieved results in stronger floors. And that's exactly what I said. The bottom four, Jasmine's pretty much in, in my opinion. Uh, because the full supply of the project is out right when the full supply is out you won't see huge dumps anymore like a lot of projects they have uh the the uh, tokens to be vested still so when you see a project that has nine to ten percent of the supply circulating it's a very risky bet but when there's 60 50 to 80 percent 90 percent circulating that's a lot you know that's an uh a lot less to worry about in my opinion right because the more supply is out in circulation, the more you have a market cap that matches its FDV, right? Same. So right here for Jasmine sitting at 00365, $178.8 million in market cap, 97.8% out. So the market cap right here, 
right here the market cap matches the FDV right 182 million in FDV 178 million in market cap so as far as the major dumps I don't think we're gonna see any more of that we're probably just gonna range here for Jasmine and go sideways a lot <laughs> right this is just this is what you call an accumulation phase we're gonna be in the accumulation phase until you see the market starts to turn around and altcoin season follows right in my opinion Karim Abda Hidehiko Kaki Numa executive officer, officer of Jasmine until the sum, uh, summer of 2022 Blockchain was in the spotlight, however, in the wake of FTX's bankruptcy, it can be seen that a public attention has waned. However, when Jasmine exhibited at Blockchain Expo in May 2023, I realized that all companies right here are looking for practical uses for blockchain because until a few years ago, only companies such as NFT and crypto asset exchanges were exhibiting. But in recent years, many companies from different industries are also exhibiting their blockchain solutions awesome stuff man look at this so he's saying after the ftx debacle uh there was a wane in what's happening in crypto and the crypto space right there was a downtrend right uh but after witnessing jasmine and you know their presentations it it, it, it gave him more faith in uh you know the web free space uh, what what could potentially take place in crypto as far as like you know um adoption right and as you guys can see here from this image look at this beautiful image with all of these people interested in jasmine look at this man you got give hara credit give hara his credit man he is out here you know look at all these people from japan look taking some interest here and willing to uh you know uh see what what is happening here with jasmine man that's very bullish and you know what's you know what's the best form of marketing word of mouth guys that's the best form of marketing from neo extrix when i've been talking about jasmine for two months and i see a small minority of people doubting uh, alerting fudding etc this sentence is from s nakamoto comes to mind if you don't believe it or don't understand it i don't have time to try to convince you sorry facts honestly right that's the best way to think from brian riley t-mobile's second biggest data breach in 2023 although smaller in scale raises red flags due to exposure of sensitive information this recurrent issue highlights the ongoing challenges companies face in protecting customer data stay safe online so here you go t-mobile second second biggest data breach guys jasmine fixes this with its pdls secure pcs it's data security right it's data democracy jasmine fixes this guys t-mobile having data hacks you know imagine how many people will be at risk when we you know move more into a fully you know iot world right so much people will be at risk to data leakages with their credit cards or maybe credit cards don't exist anymore but let's say their cbdc numbers or identification and all of that stuff right there could be with ai there could be so much falsification of that and this is why data security through jasmine is going to be so important right uh because um like for example let's give you let me give you a scenario ai uh literally pr presents itself as you and uses every all the information it's found through the data hack to purchase things online with your money right and then all of a sudden you're like i didn't uh, pay for any of these things what went wrong with jasmine we are protected man uh believe in jasmine i visualize the price rocketing i believe in jasmine japan uh jasmine japan innovating the future from house of chimera unveiling the future the, the dynamic emergence of jasmine chain it is an upcoming layer 2 solution on ethereum aiming for efficient secure and cost effective data transactions employs op stat based evm compliant tech and integrates a account abstraction at the chain level jasmine chain is what i'm super anticipating i could care less about price action i love blockchains i love uh seeing ecosystems develop and i love seeing what crypto is founded on be used man this is what i'm most excited to see man jasmine chain and how it will be implemented right ethereum based layer 2 uh ethereum aiming for efficient secure cost effective 
transaction scalable design built to handle future data volume growth ensuring smooth and rapid data interactions ai driven web os integrates with the jasmine ai engine transforming ethereum's account system into a powerful intelligent computer democratizes data provides a secure environment for users to control share monetize their data promoting fear participation and benefit account abstraction with rollup employs op stat based tech and integrates account abstraction at the chain level ensuring compatibility with evm standards right a lot of layer twos are doing very successful right now optimism arbitrum and layer two ja jasmine the layer two that's gonna be major use case guys think about it. like i don't think you guys grasp how bullish jasmine chain is did and user id integration offers a unique decentralized identity for users separating personal identity from data ownership and usage rights shout out to house of chimera for such an amazing thread if you got value in the video please be sure to like comment subscribe hit that notification bell share the videos with your friends and family become a channel member to support further i'll keep you guys updated as always thank you so much for all the support i'll catch you in the next one